We're going to start off, ladies and gentlemen, on this program talking about education. It's a very important subject in America, and many people feel the education system is in big trouble. For example, this has happened. You know, homeschooling is becoming a huge industry in America precisely because, you know, little, little Johnny will come home and his mother will say, So, what did you learn at school today? And little Johnny will say, Well, I learned that if Daddy gets fired, that we are going to be homeless. <laughs> and then it was all Ronald Reagan's fault. And the mother says, You learned what? Dad's going to be fired? We're a paycheck away from being homeless? Is that... Yeah, that's what they're teaching. So you're going to be, well, <clears throat> I've got to get my kid out of this. You go find out what's going on. It is, my friends, it's even worse than this. Do you, to set this up, how many of you uh, are, are aware of the name Coco the Gorilla? Does the name ring a bell? Coco the Gorilla is a 25-year-old mountain gorilla, 650 of them in the world, and Coco is thought to be able to communicate with human beings via sign language. Here's videotape of the actual occurrence. This is the gorilla actually talking to a human being. Human being is pretending here, I guess, to actually understand what this gorilla is saying. And <clears throat> Now, I don't know about you, but I'm dubious. After all, a gorilla is an animal. Sign language and so forth, I just, I don't buy it. I'm skeptical of these kinds of things. Given that, uh, there is a story that I have to tell you about tonight that comes to us from Crystal Lake, Illinois. And in order for those of you who believe in the gorilla's ability to sign uh, language communicate, we have gotten our own gorilla, and we will have this gorilla <laughs> sign language there it is. <laughs> Could you get a... Hey, Jill, hold it just a second. The gorilla's signing and I'm not even saying anything. This proves the point. Jill, Jill's running camera back there. Jill, would you, would you get a, a close-up of the tie this gorilla happens to be wearing? Why, look at that. It's a Rush Limbaugh No Boundaries tie, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Okay, now this, ladies and gentlemen, get, draw back Jill so they can, the gorilla can sign so people can understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> if you don't understand me, watch the gorilla and it may make sense to you. This is an actual newspaper story, ladies and gentlemen, from the Northwest Herald in Crystal Lake, Illinois. It's a story about a third grade class and a third grade... <laughs> Stop laughing over there, please. You're distracted. <laughs> That's the section that failed a drug test over there, which is why. <laughs> That's why we have them a little in the dark. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the the teacher of this third grade class is a man named Mike Pincava, and it is. <laughs> Would you take the picture out of the camera? There, thank you. <laughs> You know, the sad thing is that the liberals are understanding this, you know, that's what... <clears throat> Liberals are saying, this Limbaugh guy makes sense for the first time, and I've been watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike Pencava. <laughs> Third grade teacher, Mike Pencava, West Elementary School. A couple of weeks ago brought in a video camera and had his third grade class film <laughs> Would you stop laughing? <clears throat> you know, you people at home who think, who think we don't spend enough time on serious issues, this is a serious issue. It, he brought the video camera in to film the students singing a video of a song he wrote to Coco. This guy's got a Coco fetish, the teacher. And it's called Coco's Song. The teacher wrote it in 1991. And during each chorus of the song that the kids sang in the video, they signed the words as they sang them so that Coco the gorilla could understand what they were singing. Now, here are some of the lyrics. No, 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 listen to this. Coco, people don't know what you have to say to show them the way.
<laughs> Coco, if we would follow, just teach us the sign for love. This is a third grade teacher, ladies and gentlemen, teaching his students that they learn about love from a gorilla. Coco, if we would follow, just teach us the sign for love. What is the sign for love, gorilla? Well, uh, the, the children in Mike Pencava's third grade class rehearsed for two weeks. They didn't know any sign language at all before they started this. They got a crash course from a special education teacher named Bridget Krieger. Um, <clears throat> now, the... Pencava, the teacher, has his Coco fetish. He has recorded ten tapes worth of educational songs for kids. This is his first known effort at recording a love song for Gorilla, where he has his students sing it and sign it. And he was asked about the whole project after it was over. The teacher said, it's excitement. They draw pictures. They write letters. <laughs> They develop, a <laughs> they develop a sensitivity. There's people out there other than me, a third grader. There are people with problems. There are gorillas with problems. <laughs> there are some quotes from the kids here about how meaningful the project was to them, and those quotes are really kind of sad. I won't uh, bother you with them. And they're also raising $25 to try to help build a habitat for Coco, and they're raising it by doing chores at home, so the parents are actually being fleeced here to give money. And um, the teacher seemed to just, he go, went ape about this whole project. He said, oh. uh. listen to this. This is what the teacher said about the gorilla. Coco doesn't know me except for my letters. And now she gets to see me, said the teacher. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now, I know we've had some fun with this, but I must tell you something. I want you to imagine your child, your third grader, <clears throat> comes home from school. Say, what did you do in school today? I recorded a song for a gorilla. <laughs> you did what? what? What did you do? Yeah, we recorded a Coco love song. I was signing for Coco, and they made it for fun. You're being taught to learn love via sign language with a gorilla in the third grade? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hello, homeschooling, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? Um, I tell you, it's just true story. True story. Hey, hang on just a second. I think. Let's have, uh, we had a great job here by our gorilla, and it's a member of our staff. Gorilla, take your mask off and let's the people at home see who you are. Take, go ahead and take the mask off. And let's give him a big round of applause. There he is. <laughs>